Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing a palette resurrection for more than one palette for the first time. I wanted to talk about and demonstrate a palette series that is near and dear to my heart that I love, and that is the Lorac Pro series. Now, um, this is conditional, the first three palettes, Lorac Pro 1, 2, and 3. So typically for palette resurrections, I tend I tended to do two or three looks, so I thought this would be perfect. I'll do these three palettes, one look per palette. I absolutely adore all of these palettes. They, honestly, the mattes are so creamy and blendy, like blendiful, if that's a word, and smooth, and the shimmers are just gorgeous. You do have to use, like if you have a hooded lids like I do, you have to use a glitter glue with them, but I love every one of these palettes. And back in the, the world where we used to travel, whenever I traveled, I took at least one of these, typically the first one, with me, because the shades in here are just gorgeous. They're neutral. They're perfect for work. So I, I, I took this on the last work trip I had to take because you've got everything like you need here. And I like to use this deep black shade in my brows, which I did do today. I wore this in my brows and a little bit in my hairline. Because for me, this is like your perfect go-to neutral glam palette. Ugh. So that's the first one. The second one is the cool toned version. Look at this green. I did not use the green in this look, but I love this green. I talk about it all the time. It is gorgeous. And the third one is the warm toned version. So I, I love these palettes and uh, I know they were on sale recently with the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, but outside of that, I feel like not a lot of people talk about these anymore. I think when I first started watching YouTube, the, the first one was everywhere. It was everyone's holy grail. Everyone loved it. And I have to agree. I love it. But I feel like now these are not really talked about anymore. And I just wanted to go ahead and give them a little love. So let's go ahead and jump into the three looks I created with these three palettes. True. Oh 
sick kiss So you can cross me off that list But if you're unsure, I insist you Keep me on a little longer I'd like to like you like before But first I've got to be sure Because if I am not for myself Who the fuck am I gonna be for tonight? So treat me like I like If only for a night I'm not demanding I just require a little fragile handling tonight So treat me like I like If only for a night I'm not demanding I just require a little fragile handling I just require a little fragile handling to me up and down this avenue we can sit back and let fate decide but i this insatiable hunger tonight so treat me like i like if only for a night i'm not demanding i just require a little fragile handling tonight so treat me like i'd like if only for a night i'm not demanding just require a little fragile handling I just require a little fragile handling I just require a little fragile handling I just require a little fragile handling tonight so treat me like I like only for a night I'm not demanding I just require a little fragile handling just treat me like I like if only for a night I'm not demanding I just require a little fragile handling I just require a little fragile handling I just require a little fragile
So there you have it. Those are all three looks. I am right now wearing look number three with the warm toned palette. I don't know. I just, I love these palettes. Like I said, back when I used to travel, I would at least bring one of these because they're thin, they're light, they're strong. They lasted through checked baggage, through carry-on baggage, and I've never had any one of these shades break. The only one I've gotten close to breaking was this one, and that's because I tried to pry it out. I wanted to see how easily I could depot these shades. That is one thing. These don't depot easily, so don't try. <laughs> Unless you want to wreck the entire palette don't try depotting these. But I really don't think you need to because they're so thin, they're so compact, they're light, and they got a really nice size mirror. In each one of these looks, I was using a little mirror in front of me, but mainly just the mirror that came inside of the respective palette. So well, there you have it. I just wanted to talk about these palettes that I really like, that I feel like they don't get a lot of love because they're older, because they're not like the newest thing to come out. But I think they're worth them at their full price. I think they're around $42 each at their full price. If you get them at Ulta, I know they come in like a kit that comes with the palette and a full like Lorac um, eye primer. The eye primer is the... That eye primer is awesome. So if you get it with the eye primer, I would really recommend that. I would recommend picking them up from Ulta if you can. I'm not suggesting during this quarantine time to like run out and buy makeup. That's not, that's not a priority right now. But what I wanted to do was just give some love and utilize some older palettes in my collection that I still love and still highly recommend considering they're still available. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know down below what do you want to see in my next palette resurrection. Thank you guys for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye!